Yeah, so we're back in the boat shed today. Um, one or two things have happened that are a bit different. There's a little cupboard coming in over there that's full of all little bits and bobs, um, boaty stuff. Um, and then uh, the wood that was over here is kind of mainly gone. Uh, most of it's gone. Mainly been used up there on the end of the house. At uh, the end of the house up there. Pretty much gone, and perhaps the most exciting development is that it's not a major development, but down this end, you'll see just wandering down that way, a stack of plywood has arrived. These eight sheets of half inch plywood, sold to 12 millimeter plywood, uh, sold as Pine plywood, uh, WBP, that's water, that's water and boil proof uh, glue, so should be decent stuff. As I said, I don't want to use any tropical hardwood, so I'm going with pine. Uh, it's sold as BBB faced. Um, when I look at it, it's beautiful. This side here that I'm looking at here has no knot holes whatsoever, it's perfect linear. That'll be the B side, and I'll lift that up. Down here, lean that up there. It'll be the B, B side, also pretty darn good. I can see a couple of fill bits there, patches of wood though, nicely done. It's perfect. Come in there, guys. And then coming on onto the end of the glider, would you? Can, you? can you get onto the end of that? That's good. When we look at it here, nine plies. Um, I'll look up the edge here, no voids to be seen whatsoever. It looks absolutely perfect. And some of the other stuff I've used, you know, I did try Luan, horrible, firstly tropical, secondly full of voids, almost useless, frankly. This looks like good stuff. And so you've got eight sheets here. Uh, these are going to be used for the lofting, I'm going to lay them out on the floor next to each other, uh, which will give me eight times four, they're eight feet long, four foot wide, of course. So eight times four will give me 32 foot long and eight feet wide board, which I will use for drawing out the, the boat plan's full size. I will obviously get the side elevation on there, uh, half of the plan elevation and the various stations drawn out full size onto that. And I think that would be enough for me to, to loft all that I need to build this boat. So, things are starting to happen. Uh, Elizabeth and I have just laid down some tarps on the floor. Well, we've swept the floor first. Laid down some tarps. And then we've laid our plywood sheets on top of that. So if I've got six of them down, two to come up that end where the floor's a bit less level, so I'm going to put some woodwork under that end. Um, and that's what she looks like so far. So half inch plywood sheets down. And something I didn't say earlier is, is that these plywood sheets will be reused in the further construction, the rebirth tops, the tea tops, galley tops, whatever. So uh, none of this will be wasted. All going to be reused later on. But at the moment, on the floor, and the lofting lines will be drawn on those like that. At the moment, day sailors out because we're just getting ready to go off for a couple of days sailing. Looking forward to that. Yeah, so, here's the story. Elizabeth and I have now laid out all 12 boards. As you see there, half inch ply and we've drawn a grid on it um, marking out the 12 uh, the station various so it's a way they will come at the moment it's just a grid of uh, parallel and uh, perpendicular lines bow 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, 12, stern. And I say with three parallel lines lengthwise with perpendicular lines at each 
of the stations where, where they're going to come. As you can see, the boards are fixed together with battens along the edge. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's an idea that I got from Pete Hill, I believe, from the Building Badger book. I've used um, WBP ply for the lofting surface so that later on I can reuse that ply in the actual boat construction. Um, based not want not. So no need to spend money on things that won't be used in the boat later. And that's where we are now. The next job of course is to start measuring out the various stations, chine line, shear line, um, yeah, draw those on it. I bought a whole set of different coloured marker pens to do that with. Um, so it will be multicolored. There it is, my set of marker pens. And I'll be using those to draw out on the wood. Yeah, so Elizabeth and I have just drawn out the profile, the side view of the boat. Um, full size. I suspect you can't see it very well because it's done in purple lines. Um, but Trust me, it is there, full size, and that's our starting point, our first lofted lines. Very exciting. Today I believe to be the 23rd of August. Uh, it's coming up for 6 o'clock in the evening, and we've started. The boat build has begun. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. Um, so we've done the basic lofting, Elizabeth and I drew some more views of the boat, the planned views of the boat at the boat this morning. So we've got half the width drawn out, the chine, the shear, and the, the um, top of the coach roof and the cockpit combings. Um, so that's all done. So now we've got all the lines drawn out that we need to build. Boat. Except that now the next step working from these lines that we've drawn is that we'll draw out the profile or the cross section at each station and then we'll build up frames that, that fit along the length of the boat, cross sectional frames fit along the length of the boat from those. So those will be drawn out on, on this wood full size and I can lay the frames on top of the, the drawn out part on the floor here to get them the right size. So to talk through the, the lofting process very quickly or you know, yeah quickly the way I did it I've never lofted anything before this is the way I did it we drew three parallel lines on the floor first of all uh, the first one was parallel to the edge of the boards um, and then another one parallel to that three feet in and another one parallel to that six feet in so we've got three parallel lines running the length here, and then um, perpendicular to that, at 90 degrees, um, lines coming off across at each station. So you measure those out from the from the plans. It gives you the distance between each station, and you draw the perpendicular line there. And then by using the table of offsets that comes with the plans, you can mark out the uh, various curves, the shape of the various views of the boat. Um, and in the table of offsets, you get numbers such as um, 2 hyphen 3 hyphen 2 or 3 hyphen 4 hyphen 7 or 4 hyphen 1 hyphen 5 plus. And what that means is the first number in each case is the number of feet, the second number is the number of inches, and the third number is the number of eighths of an inch. Um, and if there's a plus after it, that's an additional sixteenth of an inch, of an inch on top of that. So from the table of offsets, you can get all the measurements that you need to draw out the, the full size boat. Um, one more thing I wanted to say just before we finish. Is that, uh, I know in the last video I said, uh, when I was showing the plans, I said there were about 50 sheets of paper. Um, I had a feeling at the time that wasn't quite right, and I counted them today, there are, there are 30, I believe, 30, 31 
sheets of paper in the set of plans, but some of those are completely irrelevant because you've got, you've got the plans for the 30 footer and or is it, uh, and and the 31 for five. Um, so you've got different plans and different rigs and different keels. So some of those pieces of paper you'll never use. In fact, most of them you'll never use. Um, good. So that's where we are now. It's basically lofted out. I say still going to draw out the, the cross-sectional shapes at the stations. I'll do those one at a time as I'm making each station shape. I'm going to go for the approach used by uh, Greg of Willow, where he builds fixed frames for the boat, even though Mr. Benford says that's not necessary. I like the idea. That's the way I'm going to do it. Um, so the next stage will be to draw out the first cross-section uh, and to start making that station, the, the frame or the bulkhead that occurs at that station. Also, I guess we'll have to laminate up the stem based on the curve of the stem that's drawn out here. Um, yeah, that's where we are. Next video, first pieces of wood, I guess. <laughs>